Hi everyone, it's Miss Allen. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. I'm in the Story Tower at the Billings Public Library and I am so ready for today's story time. It is about something that is my favorite thing in the fall. Are we ready? Well, let's sing our opening song before we talk about that, okay? All right. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round. And one little child sits quietly down. Alrighty, so first I'm going to show you the letter of the week. What letter is this? That's right, this is a P. Can you go P, 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 P? And it's color is our P today? It's pink. What a perfect P word. Pink and purple, like Miss Allen's favorite color. There's also something that we're going to have stories about today that starts with the letter P. It is something you eat around Halloween and Thanksgiving. It is something you carve and maybe make faces in, or maybe you just draw faces on. We are going to talk about pumpkins today. Pumpkins. So let's put our letter P to the side and read a great P book. Ready? Pick a perfect pumpkin. What a great title for our week. Pick a perfect pumpkin. This is Learning About Pumpkin Harvest this is by Rachel, oh, excuse me, Robin Koontz. There we go. The autumn air feels cool. Color le colorful leaves blow in the breeze. Rows of pumpkins glow under a blue sky. Pumpkin harvest time is here. Pumpkins probably first grew in North America. Now they are grown all over the world. Welcome to the pumpkin farm. Do you see all the pumpkins all in a row? Pumpkin seeds are planted in spring. Soon sprouts shoot up through the ground. The sprouts go into long vines. The vines then flower and pumpkins grow from those flowers. You see the vines the pumpkins are growing on? Oh my goodness, look at this pumpkin. The pumpkin has lots of seeds inside. Because it has seeds, a pumpkin is a fruit. I always thought pumpkins were vegetables, but they are not. They are fruits because they have seeds inside them. Pumpkins turn colors as they grow. They can be orange or green, yellow or white. Some are even red or blue. Have you ever seen a red or a blue pumpkin? I haven't. I have seen oranges and yellow ones, green when they're growing. Some pumpkins come in many shapes and sizes. Some of them weigh as much as a cow. Goodness gracious, that's a lot. A ripe pumpkin's color is bold. It sounds hollow when a finger taps it. Once picked, pumpkins should be stored in a cool, dry place. And he's telling them not to pick him up by the stem because that will break off. You have to pick him up from the bottom. Pumpkins are used to make pumpkin bread and pumpkin soup. They're also used to make pumpkin pie. People even carve faces into pumpkins. The jack-o'-lanterns shine bright all through the fall. Have you done that? Sometimes people do that and put little lights in them to light up their yard. Pumpkins. Pumpkins are pretty cool. So you know that we have to sing our very favorite pumpkin song. Are you ready? So you got to put your five little pumpkins up on the gate. Got them? One, two, three, four, five. We got five little pumpkins. Here we go. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there's a chill in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The
The fourth one said, I'm ready for some fun. The fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Did the lights go off? How did that happen? <laughs> that was a good one. Should we do it one more time with the words so you can do the words and the actions together? Okay, here we go. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there's a chill in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, I'm ready for some fun. The fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Did that surprise you the lights went out again? All righty, next one's called It's a Pumpkin. This is by Wendy McClure, and this is actually a new book for fall. So I'm really excited for you to hear this one. It's super cute. It has all kinds of little forest animals in it. And we're going to learn about what they think this is. We all know it's a pumpkin. Okay. They found it in the middle of the road. What is it? Field Mouse asked. It looks kind of familiar. I don't know, said Squirrel. It's a mystery. I'll tell you what it is, said the field mouse. It's in the way. They pushed it over so it could roll. It rolled and rolled all the way to the opossum's nigh spot. Was he sleeping? Bonk, right in the head. Sorry, said the field mouse. What is it, said the possum? That's just my, what we were wondering, asked Squirrel. Possum squinted at it. Then he sat on it. Hmm. It's a chair. They all tried it. Pretty comfy, said the possum. Disagree, said the squirrel. I don't think it's a chair, said the field mouse. What is it? It's a pumpkin. Of course it's not a chair, called the raccoon from her window. So what is it, asked the possum. Is it for eating, guessed squirrel. Well, now that you mention it, said Raccoon, wait right there. A moment later, she came out with a big plate of cookies. Get up from that chair, she told Possum. Thought you said it wasn't a chair, he said. It's not, Raccoon sent the plate on top. See, she said, it's a table. A table, said Field Mouse, are you sure? Please have some cookies, said Raccoon. I made way too many. Possum went to get cider. Then the rabbit family joined them and the woodpecker, excuse me, the woodchuck too. And then the party started. This is fun, said Woodchuck, but you call this a table? Actually, said Squirrel, we don't know what it is. I know one thing we can do with it, said Woodchuck. Come on. What are they gonna do? Woodchuck set it next to the door to his burrow. See, he said, it makes a nice door stop. They carried the cookies and the cider through the open door and the party went on. The chipmunk stopped by and even three chickadees. This is great, said Squirrel. Nev we never have parties. Field Mouse was just pouring another cup of cider when the door went slam. Everyone turned to see the skunk standing there with a sly smile. Skunk, said Woodchuck, why did you move the doorstop? I happen to know, said Skunk, that this is not a doorstop. No kidding, said Squirrel, but what is it? I've seen it at people's houses, replied Skunk. It's a lamp. A lamp, said everyone. I'll show you, she said. Who's got a knife and a big spoon? And we'll need a candle. She making. There she did it. She made a very nice lamp. It had a jolly face and it flickered and it made them all want to dance spooky dances. The party went on. 
but are you sure it's a lamp, Field Mouse asked Gunk. What if someone, whoops, said Woodchuck. Uh-oh. Knocks it over, finished Field Mouse. The crowd looked at the broken mess. What is it now? asked the raccoon. One of the rabbit twins sniffed at the pieces. I think, I think it could be a pie, like our grandma used to make. Yes, said her brother, a big pie, and we can make it. Everyone helped. Squirrel sighed after he finished his pie slice. Oh, whatever it was, Squirrel said, it was tasty. Don't say was, said Chickadee, it's not all gone yet. He hopped over to a bowl that Skunk had filled with glob while, filled with glop while carving the lamp. He picked out some of the seeds. Can you eat the pumpkin seeds? Oh, I bet it would be delicious to roast this. So roast those, said Raccoon. Let's do it, said Field Mouse. Have you ever roasted pumpkin seeds? Oh, they're so good. Everyone can take some seeds home, said Woodchuck. The party was almost over. They all helped clean up. The rabbits and skunk did the dishes and Possum emptied the glop bowl outside. Then it was time to go. You see what's in the bowl? Is that the guts from the inside the pumpkin? Field Mouse ate her seeds all at once. Squirrel stashed his away and savored them slowly over the winter. Woodchuck slept all winter and saved his seeds for a snack when he woke up. By spring, everyone had forgotten about the party and about it. Then they were busy doing other things. Then one morning, Possum was scurrying home to bed when he saw something behind Woodchuck's burrow. Do you see it? What is it? Is it the start of a pumpkin vine? He called over a field mouse and squirrel. Look, he said, it's a plant. Everyone watched it all summer. It's a big plant, said Raccoon. A few weeks later, Skunk said, wow, it has a flower. Look, called Woodchuck one day in September. It's a, it's a watermelon. I don't think so, said Chipmunk. It's too small. Is it a watermelon? It's getting bigger, said the rabbits. It's getting orange, said Chickadee. It looks very familiar, said Field Mouse. I know what it is, said Squirrel. What, said Opossum, what is it? It's time, answered Squirrel. It's time for a party. And he was right. Did they ever figure out what it was a pumpkin? No, but they found out that it's good for pumpkin pie. That is a really cute book. It's gonna, I think it's going to be one of my favorites for pumpkins. Alrighty, so let's do five little pumpkins, and then I have another new pumpkin rhyme for us to do. Alrighty, got your five pumpkins ready? Alrighty. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there's a chill in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Very good. Did you enjoy that one? That is a lot of fun. Should we do it one more time with the words up? Already, here we go. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there's a chill in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, I'm ready for some fun. The fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Ooh, in the wind, Dad. Out went the lights, and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. I'm enjoying turning the lights off on you guys. What? Alrighty, let's do our new one. This one's called Pumpkin on the Ground. Can you make a little pumpkin? Can you make a big pumpkin? Okay, it goes like this. 
Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground, how'd you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small, now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground, how'd you get so big and round? Did you grow your pumpkin? Oh, great. Alrighty, our last story before our final board is called Piggies in the Pumpkin Patch. What? Lots of peas, piggies in the pumpkin patch. <gasps> what other P words have we done today? We pumpkin, pie, we had a possum. <gasps> we have some great P words. Pink, purple, piggies in the pumpkin patch by Mary Peterson and Jennifer Roth. Piggies in the pumpkin patch, peek and sneak. Under crinkly clean sheets, over growing green beans, behind snoring sleepy sheep, into the clover field. Did you see some P words in there? I saw peek, peek, can you peek, like peekaboo? Piggies in the clover field chase and race between teasing tabby cats along winding wagon tracks, across muddy matted grass, into the big bull's pen. Uh-oh. Squeal! Are they supposed to be in there? Piggies in the big bull's pen crash and dash through scrambling, squeaking cut geese around the looming leafy trees past swarming, stinging bees into the pumpkin patch. Piggies in the pumpkin patch, deep asleep. Some great P words in there and a great looking pumpkin patch. So I don't think that I can get away without doing Out Goes the Lights one more time, right? So let's first do our pumpkin rhyme, and then we'll do five pumpkins on a gate, and then we'll head over to our flannel board about the letter P. P, P, P. Are you ready? T. All ready. So, pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground, how'd you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small, now you're a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? Did your pumpkin get really big? Awesome. Alrighty, let's do five pumpkins, five little pumpkins sitting on a gate, and then we'll do our final board. Are you ready? Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, Oh my, it's getting late. Second one said, There's a chill in the air. Third one said, But we don't care. Fourth one said, we're ready for some fun. The fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Ooh, with the wind and out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Alrighty, we're back to do our flannel board today. And we are talking about the letter P and pumpkins. So somewhere on here is a pumpkin and the pumpkin is hiding. Now, I don't know if you noticed when we read, let me grab the book. When we read Piggies in the Pumpkin Patch, there were lots of great situational words like under and over. So when you go under something or maybe you go over it, or behind it. Is there something behind you? These piggies went between in the middle, right through. This would be between the book pages, along the windy road, across, we run across it, and then into. So we're going to use some of those words in our song today, or our little rhyme today, okay? And somewhere there's some pumpkins hiding. 
They could be behind the tree, behind the car. They could be inside the house, under the leaves, or uh, let's go behind the shed. So here's our little rhyme. It goes like this. Oh, where, oh, where has my pumpkin gone? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? I'm searching and singing my pumpkin song. Oh, won't you please help me? Is it behind the car, behind the tree, under the leaves, inside the house, or next to the shed? Where do you think it is? What do you like? I bet you think it's the car because I kind of fiddled with it. Should we see? No pumpkin. I got you, didn't I? Alrighty, so let's sing our song. Oh, where, oh, where could my pumpkin gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I'm searching and singing my pumpkin song. Oh, won't you please help me? Alrighty, guys, what do you think? Is it inside the house, under the leaves, next to the shed, or behind the tree? Anybody got a guess? I'm listening. Oh, you think the leaves? You think it's under the leaves? So if we pull the leaves up, under there will be the pumpkin? Let's see. Nope. Wasn't there. Cool pile of leaves though, right? Alrighty, let's sing our song. Oh, where, oh, where has my pumpkin gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I'm searching and singing my pumpkin song. Oh, won't you please help me? Where is it? Is it behind the tree, inside the house, or next to the shed? What do you think? Think behind the tree? See, it's a big tree. It could hide a big pumpkin. But it didn't hide this pumpkin. Alrighty. Let's see if we get it right this time. Are you ready? Our last time we're singing this song. Oh, where, oh, where has my pumpkin gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I'm searching and singing my pumpkin song. Oh, please, won't you help me? Alrighty, so we got inside the house or next to the shed. I'm listening for all your ideas. Where could it be? You think it's the shed? Are you sure? Maybe it's the house. Shed, house, shed. Okay, let's see. <gasps> There's our pumpkin. There it is. You found it. Good job. Should we sing our song, but we can say next to the shed when we finish it? Okay, let's do that one more time. Oh, where, oh, where has my pumpkin gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I'm searching and singing my pumpkin song. Oh, won't you please help me? Is it behind the shed? It was next to the shed, wasn't it? Good job, guys. Very good. So next week, we will have books about being thankful. Because it's Thanksgiving, we want to give thanks. So I want you to think about all the things you are thankful for, that you are so very happy to have in your life. I'm very happy to have all of you visit me in story time. And I sure miss you, and I hope that I get to see you soon. Until then, let's sing our song and then stay tuned for Miss Molly's Pumpkin Craft. Are you ready? On my face I have a nose. On my feet I have ten toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. Have two arms I reach up high. 
and with my hands I wave goodbye. See you next time, guys. Hi, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. Today we are doing a pumpkins craft. You need nine jumbo popsicle sticks, some glue, um, a little stem made of construction paper, a fake leaf, oh, fake leaf, um, and maybe something to color or paint with. So it's super easy. We'll get started. I have already painted my popsicle sticks. Um, I've painted seven of them and then I have two left over that I just left um, this like beige color. Um, let's see. So I, I painted seven. You can also color or color with crayons, markers, whatever. Um, when I painted, I only did one side, but you can paint both if you want to, it's kind of up to you. So once you have your orange popsicle sticks, you want to arrange them in a way that they kind of make a square. So I'm putting these two sort of like an equal sign and then I'm going to layer the seven orange ones on top. Okay, so once you kind of have them where you want them, you can glue them. So, um, I used hot glue on this one, but any type of glue should work. I'm using Elmer's glue now, or school glue, I guess. So to glue it, I'm gonna make sure I have these two tan ones where I want them. And then I'm just going to put these orange ones on top. So now I will let this dry for a minute. Okay. So I think that I will just wait a bit for it to dry um, because it's really hard to stick the other things on when the glue's drying because it just kind of moves around. So we'll wait for it to dry and then we will resume. We'll get back to crafting. So um, I will see you in a little bit. All right, we are back. I think that it's dried enough. Um, that if I'm really careful, we can finish it up. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll take my little piece of construction paper 
uh, it's brown, it looks like a stem, and then I'm going to kind of carefully lift up my pumpkin and glue this to this horizontal piece, um, maybe kind of in the middle. There you go. And I, I used a glue stick just because it's easier to glue with paper. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is take our leaf and glue it. And I'm using glue stick again, but it doesn't matter. You can use whatever. And I'm gluing this to the front. Ta-da! Here we go. There's our pumpkin. Okay. Well, um, it was another fun week of crafting. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye!